today we will uh, talk about uh, hip replacements why do we do hip replacements mainly for hip arthritis hip arthritis can be because of primary reasons with no main cause at all however in places like india the common causes for hip arthritis are steroids abuse medically or non medically alcohol overuse inflammatory arthritis like rheumatoid arthritis systemic lupus ankylosing spondylitis and there are many other genetic disorders which can lead to hip arthritis there are some conditions which can happen at birth or soon after birth like congenital dislocation of hip and perthes disease how does hip arthritis present hip arthritis presents with severe pain in the hip and thigh especially while walking there can be stiffness as well as shortening of the leg when do we advise hip replacement surgery after primary assessment and looking at the radiographs we come to a decision whether surgery is needed or not if patient's daily activities are restricted and the patient is not able to stand for 10 15 minutes with the radiograph showing no joint space at all then we counsel the patient for hip replacement surgery total hip replacement is one of the most successful procedures in orthopedic surgery in total hip replacement we replace the acetabulum what we call the cup as well as a femur head over the years there has been a lot of change in technology and designs of the implants in the past there used to be only cemented hips which means the cup used to be made up of plastic which used to be cemented in the acetabulum the stem used to be cemented made up of steel or titanium with a steel or ceramic head now there are countries across the world which have published joint registries and these joint registries are published on an annual basis the latest technology and the best design as per the joint registry is what we call ceramic head on plastic liner the plastic liner is xlp poly hybrid total hip replacement is now probably the commonest procedure in total hip replacement hybrid replacement is where we replace the acetabulum with an uncemented metal shell and a plastic liner is attached to it the hip femur stem is cemented with a ceramic head on top of it immediately after the surgery we make the patient's walk within a day the results are very good and successful with more than 98% of the patients having a very successful outcome the minimum survivorship of these hip replacements is around 20 to 25 years so for any patient who is suffering with significant arthritis hip arthritis hybrid hip replacement is a procedure of choice in elderly patients where there is muscle loss lack of hip function there is another hip replacement called mdm which is modular dual mobility instead of a standard ceramic head on poly here we use bigger heads wherein the patient has got better freedom of movement more mobility and stability as well as patients can be able to sit on the floor this mdm total hip replacements we reserve for very elderly patients complex primaries and revision hip replacements for any further details contact us at yashoda hospitals high tech division thank you like comment and subscribe for more health updates